This is a New Zealand bred cordyline known as Red Fountain. Its strapley foliage droops down and cascades, making it perfect for rockeries and pots, as well as borders or use in garden beds. The big thing about this cordyline is, unlike all the other varieties, the prize is not just the foliage. It actually produces wonderful flower spikes and has little white and pink flowers that are heavenly fragrant. So this makes growing this plant in a pot and having the ability to bring it closer to entertaining areas so much more important. And the best self-watering pots are made by Decor, an Aussie company who led the world when it came to developing pots with water well technology. This is how it works. The pots are designed to hold soil above the water line. This means water goes through, but it doesn't sit around saturating the root system. You see, you've got a tray across the bottom here. Now, this holds the soil above. The roots grow through that, but when water comes down, it passes through and it sinks into a little well below. You can see this little pockets down here. These little holes allow soil to actually go right down to the bottom of the tray. Now, that soil acts like a wick, sucking moisture back up into the soil mass, making sure that the roots never dry out. Now, if you do overwater, you don't have to worry. The design allows for any excess water to flow out. And if you use these inside, you can actually water the plant through there instead of having to pour water over the top. It's very clever. Now, the key to a great pot plant is the soil it goes in. And pots do require slightly different soils. If you live in a climate with good summer rains, a fast running tub and terracotta is a must. But for hotter summer climates, the best is a coir peat potting mix like this. It's porous, but it holds moisture longer, which is ideal for plants that sit under shade or are used indoors. Now, it's really important after you pot anything up in the garden that you give it a good watering in with this stuff, sea salt. It helps them get over transplant shock and really settles them in, gets those roots off to a great start. I've chosen the Sorrento Oblong from Decor because, well, I like that latte colour, I like the shape of it, and it's a beautiful contrast to the foliage of the Red Fountains. But you might like quite a different choice, and the good thing is there is a great range available from Decor, so check it out next time you're in your local Bunnings store.